attachment theory? Yeah. Like, right. <laughs> uh, John Bowlby. Um, so he is accredited to creating attachment theory. Um, and it, it's really good. Um, so pretty much as it goes, um, your attachment style to your partner in your later stages of life comes from how your attachment is with your primary giver when you were a child. Um, and I would like to preface this by saying you don't have any control of that, right? Like you're a kid. You don't have a control on your attachment style growing up in life. And even that, it's not a full concrete thing like your attachment style. For example, the three attachment styles I provide you were secure attachment, avoidant attachment, and anxious attachment. It's not you're 100% avoidant or 100% anxious. Like even that's a spectrum. A lot of mental health is just a big old spectrum. Isn't it? Um, but it's identifying what your attachment style is. For example, um, let's say, so one, key, something John Bowlby would argue is that someone who has an avoidant attachment style should never date someone with an anxious attachment style. Why? Because a person with an avoidant attachment style, how they deal with their problems is they, they're independent. They, they shun off, they turn off. They don't want to actually have a dialogue with their partner and instead they retreat into themselves and they avoid the situation versus an anxious partner is the complete opposite. They're, they have anxiety about the situation. They need to talk about it. So you have on one side, this party that just wants to talk about it. And this other side is saying, you know, stay away from it. And it's not good. Like you, it's, that's, um, that's workable. Don't get me wrong. If you can relate with any of those, you can do it in my opinion. Um, but we all should be working for this thing called secure attachment and secure attachment is being confident in who you are, understanding your vulnerabilities, understanding your weaknesses, understanding that your partner isn't the solution to your problems and that you're there to work with them. And the, the great analogy for secure attachment is to relate them to being a dog. <laughs> so a dog is securely attached. They don't care if you're sad. They always just want to be with you unconditionally, right? A, a dog is just always so lovable. So be like a dog. <laughs> How do we find out what our attachment style is? I would you I've I've recently I've started thinking to myself after doing some more research it might be useful for everyone to have like a hour of therapy session before they start dating absolutely yeah hey I'm I'm an advocate I think everyone should see a therapist because I think everyone has problems and you know people are really strong but also people need support so absolutely it if you are unsure about your attachment style, ab absolutely have a conversation with someone. And if you don't have, if you can't afford it, then just be mindful of your own behaviors and how you manage yourself in your own relationships. Well, hopefully one day you'll write a book and we can just read that book. <laughs> Sweet, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> as, as I'm thinking, Joseph, I think just as a general takeaway for for listeners, I imagine if you're in if you're in the unfortunate circumstance of being through relationship and relationship and breakup and breakup stop the cycle go and like get the information about yourself mm -hmm. go and get an hour's worth of therapy see where you're at see yeah. what you should be vibing with and maybe you can stop that from happening would you agree joseph yeah i think um one of the biggest protective factors is um, knowing yourself because if you don't know yourself you're not going to know the triggers you're not going to know what you want and that's well let me like start with that right it's like you have to understand, do you want to be in a relationship? Like you have to start with that. I will, I will say I'm all for like relationships are the most meaningful thing. And you know, it's not about money and life. It's not, it's about having meaningful relationships, whether it be your family, your friends or your partner, that's the biggest thing. And to anyone listening, like that's it. That's why we're here. Like that's it. 